Hello again, YouTuber, it's Autumn SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with part 49 of our SpongeBob Adventures in a Jam playthrough. It's been a very long while since our last video for this game, and yeah, I'm not gonna explain why once more, but if you missed out any previous part, of course, the link to the playlist is in the description box below, as always. All right, so let's start off here with our Dutchman's Treasure treasure prize, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, let's collect whatever it is. Oh, there we go. So just trying to get the correct spins there. But yeah, that's our prize. Back here in the Cephalopod Lodge, we need to head over to the eastern part of this, well, place to find something for the Sacred Sock of Solitude. Again, another prize from the Dutchman's Treasure. 500 energy, which is very much necessary. The next spin, a hard one. Well, uh, probably not the best, but, well, let's just refresh it. Another hard one. Man, it's not working out today. Let's keep refreshing. Easy. All right, spend 61 energy. That is really easy. We just had to clear, like, two things at this point. So, great. And with that, yeah, there we go. So, let's continue this way, just to clear the path to where we need to go first. Over there... Let's claim our Dutchman's treasure reward, 600 energy, another exploding pie, always nice to have them. Now I haven't really been using the exploding pies because, well, uh, I don't really feel like it would help that much because of the way that the quests are currently going, but I think if we do have a whole bunch of stuff blocking the way in the future, um, that's probably where I'm just gonna start using them more frequently. At, a, at this point, we only have 17 of them. We used quite a few in Doom Tower just because it was so frustrating there. But yeah. Alright, so we found this little thing here that we need to repair. A table of repair and relaxation. That is a mouthful of a term or of a name. And first of all, let's head back out into the outside of the Cephalopod Lodge. Gary's got some energy for us. We need to get uh, some of this whelk juice, or whatever it's called. And then, over here, grape stomping barrel, we need that again. Now the most frustrating part is getting the bags of peanuts, because bags of sea nuts, because those take a while to craft as well. Back in here, we have our stuff whelk punch bamboo, and now we have our good fine man over there, just manning the thing i guess okay so we need to get some sock patches made which means it's time to get these materials off the ground one and we need rope all right so let's get the rope there there we go and now let's make another sock patch oh wait one more man i thought these things would be giving you more but nope so at a point of recording this, it's midway through February. I recorded this, I think, late January. And we have the Valentine's Day event ongoing. Uh, it started a little bit late for me. It started on February 15th, like that's the day after Valentine's Day. But nonetheless, uh, just a quick spoiler, because, you know, you're going to be watching the, this video while that event is going on. Um, if you are looking to get the hearts that are mentioned in the uh, first text box when the event begins for you. Basically, all you have to do is remove obstacles because you get the hearts from those obstacles, just like you would get any other material uh, when you remove obstacles. So just FYI, as for how you can use the hearts at this point, I'm not very sure because my game hasn't told me. I've tried to look around in the game to see how I can redeem things with the hearts because there are no new characters. Although the Order dude is actually dressed up in a cool Valentine's Day uh, costume. So at least they did have, in they did include some cool details for the Valentine's Day event. But we'll probably get to that in the next video in part number 50. All right, so quest complete there. Soctacular Salvage is next. And where do we have to go? All right, so let's spin that wheel once again. We've got, oh, there you go, the loot. Is that what it's called? I think it's what it's called. Hey, Squidward, look what I found. What did you find, SpongeBob? It's a loot, a dirty loot, but a, a loot nonetheless. 
Is that good? I don't know how I'm supposed to react to this. It's one of the artifacts that belongs in the Shrine of the Sublime Cephalopod. Oh, okay. So, yay. <laughs> Let's go put it where it belongs. Sure thing, SpongeBob. Sure thing. Okay. So, Spectacular Salvage. Quest complete. Now, Spectacular Upgrade. All we have to do, tap on that. And Stage 2 of 7 is complete. There. The loot is in place. What happens now, Squidward? There's a door mysteriously open. Will it play us a jaunty tune? <laughs> no. What? No! The Shrine of the Sublime Cephalopod is not here for your amusement. Or is it? Then what is it here for, huh? Mr. Squidward? It is an artifact, a great artifact, whose true meaning is known only to Lodge members, of which Squidward isn't even one. So, yeah, cool. If it ends up playing a song and I miss it, I'll be really disappointed. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, the statue suddenly comes to life and starts playing a song on it? That would be really hilarious and scary. M our most precious asset is missing. Do you think you can find our dear cantankerous Moray Elias? So basically that electric eel. He's been in a panic since that jellyfish swarm. We have to find him before he wreaks more havoc. I might not know what that is, but I think we we can do it. It's an eel, SpongeBob, an electric eel. Very dangerous. Uh -huh. We'll, we'll take his advice. Good thing I'm wearing rubber pants. Wait, his pants are rubber? Since when was that even a thing? I had no, <laughs> I have never known that SpongeBob Square Pants, SpongeBob says Square Pants was like made of rubber. Okay. Obstacle obliteration. This sounds like a quest where I can use the uh, exploding pies pretty effectively, but the thing is, they're not concentrated like widely there. So we've got two new, two at televisions now, one over there and one that we access way earlier. So oh, that's cool. Uh, one thing that has been added to the game is the timed at um, auto at placements, basically uh, right beside your gift box. If you do have one beside the exploding pie icon on the bottom right of the screen, sometimes a at TV a pop-up will appear and if you tap on it you can just watch the ad automatically without even having to find one of these advertisement televisions scattered around the map of the story mode which i think is actually a pretty good new feature but again the, the timing is kind of random i'm not actually set staring at the screen just to time how long it takes for that pop-up to disappear and then reappear but I guess if you're short on energy uh, and that pops up, make sure to just tap it because that's an easy 25 energy, I presume, right? So we are out of energy now, uh, but we can make one curtain in the sacred sewing machine. So rolled up curtain, there we go. We've got a whole pile of whatever that is. There's That's a statue of the eel, isn't it? Yeah, that's, a, that's like... The, the eel's head is part of that pile of rubble. Okay, day four daily reward. Nothing too special. Let's continue here, 191. Oh, right there, we're out of energy. And now we have energy again. So I, I did try to just skip ahead here, uh, but again, we are still out of energy. Gary comes in with 30 more, and that would be insufficient. So 18 more to go. Okay, I cleared it up a little bit more, 72, and then one more, 36. Four more, and there we go, yay! All right, that whole pile of rubble is gone, obstacle obliteration complete. I wonder what would happen if you use the exploding pie there and then. Would it just destroy the whole pile immediately? Okay, we've got the cantankerous Moray Elias here, so... How are we gonna extract him? Oh, we're, we're just gonna stuff him in our bag. <laughs> of course. Why not, right? He's totally dangerous. My precious Elias quest complete. Okay, so now we gotta put him in the cage, which is very, very easy. We have to tap that, fix. There we go. We fix the cage, and then in goes the eel. And he's going, he's speeding in there. Your precious Elias, who's it, what's it, has been returned to its cage. 
that is truly good news, friend. Oh, friend, nice. It was a pretty shocking discovery. I mean that in the most literal sense. So that's maybe why it just went into our bag, because Patch grabs it and stuffs it in the bag. Ah, yes, he can be quite a scamp. Thank you for finding him. He's a pretty high voltage scamp, but you're welcome, I guess. So yeah, probably it was Patrick who uh, helped put it in the bag, huh? All right, from chase to cage, quest complete. Fantastic. Upgrade the statue using the tentacle, find a missing artifact. Okay, so we need to find the artifact, which is the missing tentacle first, and then we upgrade the um, statue. So first up, let's get some rope, which is located right there. I think we'll probably need a little bit more, frankly. But yeah, light of the torches? Where is that gonna be? Hmm. Huh. Interesting stuff. But again, I don't even think we're halfway through the cephalopod lodge zone because um, if you, I'm not gonna show it here, but if you zoom out and go up a little bit, there's way more of this area that we haven't accessed yet. So yeah. And also the eel produces some sort of fire or light. Which is pretty random but that's pretty cool also at the same time day six day reward nothing special there um now let's see what there is to see here oh yeah okay so we've got that green fire from the eel which means we can <laughs> open up this passage oh and that's useful so we lighted up the torches um not sure why it was even not lighted in the first place but okay we also need to light the rest of the torches that are not flame based and again, clumsy arch mishap, mishap, excuse me, quest complete. We have a whole bunch of random stuff blocking the way right there. So first I'm gonna remove these because presumably they have something we need right there. Day seven daily reward, nothing special as always. I'm probably gonna just stop showing the daily rewards in the future, but we'll see. Slippery situation, all right, over there. And 80. Darn. Recharge! There we go, okay. So yeah, that is the missing tentacle. Right there. Standing right there, if we can tap it. 220! Darn, I shouldn't have removed that obstacle earlier. It was totally a mistake. Okay, energy recharge. Let's remove that tentacle once and for all. Uh-huh, there we go. And then now uh, we can go back to the statue and install it. There we go, upgrade. Slippery situation quest complete. All right, so I think I'm gonna end up the video here. Make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys again in the next one. I'm just, just gonna try to make these videos a little bit shorter for you guys. So we have a little bit more content to post, but at the same time, it doesn't take up too much of your time for each sitting. And I'll see you guys again in the next SpongeBob video coming real soon. Till then, bye.